Hello! Um, I'm hoping this will be a quick video on how to do basic green screening with Cam Twist. Now, I am not a professional. I just figure things out on my own. So you may find a different way. You may not like it. There's things I like about it. There's things I love about it. There's things I am not crazy about. Um, but at the same time, I love the versatility. I love being able to change my background on the fly. I love to set different themes and surprise the students sometimes. Um, and I'm not a very crafty person, so I don't like to come up with new backgrounds all the time. So I'm going to try to show you just quickly how to do it. And... Um, I'll tell you some troubleshooting things and let me just show you what I've done so far. Okay. So right now, um, what you're looking at behind you is really just a digital image. It is not a real bookcase. It's not paper. It's not anything. It's just, just a digital image. Um, and what I've got here and I'll sh don't look at my setup that I, you, I have there. I'm just going to show you what I do. Okay. This, I have a back, I have a, folder on my desktop called general backgrounds um, that if I ever want to change it I can just go over there and I have a new background um, if I'm teaching the farm lesson what lives on the farm I'm on a farm um, if I want an animated gif back here I can have a gif and this is just an image image overlay so I can make it tweak it just like you would any other image um, resize it crop it move it around however you want to do it. So the image itself is just a regular image. It just goes behind you because you key out all the color around you. And that's what makes green screen or chroma key work. Okay. Um, so let me uh, just leave it on something that is okay. Um, I'm going to clear the effects and I'm going to show you what my green screen looks like. Now note the most important thing with green screen is lighting. I had watched a uh, teacher um, Ellie's video on the digital effects group and she said, don't even talk to me until you have the lighting right. Um, and lighting is key. You need two even lights right here in front of you. This is what she told, said, told us is two even lights on each side of you. And I, ended up purchasing photography lighting for $39. It was not a big deal, but I'm determined to make green screen work. I haven't perfected it yet, but I'm working on it. Um, anyway, I bought this little light kit for $39. It wasn't used. It was brand new and they sell multiple of them. It's like an eBay store. Um, so you could get it if you were interested in that. Um, and I have two little $5, <laughs> clip on lights behind me, which is imperative. You have to have that. And I have the daylight, 100 watt LED daylight bulbs. All of your bulbs have to be even. And the bulbs that came in the photography lighting are um, LEDs, daylight. So I put LED daylights behind me as well. Um, so that's rule number one. Until you get your lighting right, and your fabric that you use behind you needs to be a stark green. And it really could be any color. And depending on what you're needing to, um, and your coloring, and you can, I like, I know you can color a blue, you can color um, a magenta, you can choose anything. But remember, whatever color you key, you cannot wear, because it'll take that out as well. Um, and it's a uh, tricky for me to do a green cause I have green eyes and I don't want to delete my eyes. <laughs> uh, so, um, anyway, like I said, I haven't perfected it, but okay. Now I'm going to just clear my setup and I'm going to do a green screen for you. Okay. It may take a minute cause you have to do a lot of tweaking. Okay. It's not just going to go click a button and boom, it's done. Wouldn't that be great? And I've worked on it. Here's what I've learned. A thousand ways not to do it. <laughs> um, but I want to learn it. So I'm making myself learn it. So here we go. I'm going to clear the effects. And I am going to put in. There's nothing you can see in my preview. I'm going to put in a webcam PIP. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go to this PIP and select my eyeglasses. I use eyeglasses as a camera, um, which controls my external webcam. And I'm going to go here, clear background, make this as big as I can. And then there's several things I need to go ahead and put in this setup. One, I need an image overlay. Okay, and that's going to go really right above the PIP in this order. And then I want the gamma adjust. Okay, ooh, that's dark, isn't it? But I'm going to lighten it up. And you see how that changes and it makes that green more visible. Now mine is harder to do because I've got a corner here. Okay, that's not a straight flat wall. And it's very difficult to get that lighting on that corner. I've learned that. I wish I had a wide enough space to just do flat. Um, I still may work toward that. Matter of fact, I've got an idea just now. Oh, well. Anyway, um, if you have a flat wall, that's more perfect. This fabric I bought from Hobby Lobby for $5.99 a yard. Um... With my 40% off coupon, it was even cheaper. I paid eight bucks, but I've seen people who've keyed with dollar store plastic tablecloths, people who've keyed with um, really anything. You just want non-reflective fabric in a stark green so that your camera can pick up the green and know to get rid of the green. So that's what you're looking for. Okay, so now we've got that done. Now let's go back to our PIP webcam. And then I hit the clear background. Now I'm going to hit chroma key right here. And then this is where it says chroma key. I'm going to hit select. Ooh. Now I need to go select the green. So I'm going to click my dropper tool and come up here and select my green. Okay. Um, now that's too dark. So I really want to key it with a picture back there so I can know what I'm looking at. So I'm going to go over to my image overlay and just put an image in there. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? We love that. Can't even see myself. I look like a devil. Now I'm going to start really working. I'm going to bring that threshold down some. Okay. Things that I think are important. I don't want fuzz around my head. I want my clothes and my chair is black. I don't want there to be little sparkles in my black. I want everything to be solid and seamless. So I bring that threshold down just enough to where I know that I'm looking okay, but I'll worry about this in a minute. I'm really not that concerned about that this moment. Um, but with this still, you see how this is sort of gray around here? That means you're working on your color when that's selected. Then you can go in your color wheel and you can move this and move it. Look how it changes it, okay? And you tweak it. Now, I'm not changing my lighting because I've got my lighting like I want it. Um, okay, but see? Now, what are other things that I can change that would help me get? I can, I can adjust the threshold right here. But there's the level where I need it for my body and my face. But now I've got to get it work for my background. So what I use is, I told you I use eyeglasses. Whatever you use to control your camera colors, okay? Um, you can adjust exposure and see how that changes that green. And you move that mouse ever so slightly to where you can find the best way that brightness will change it. The amount of green you have coming in but watch your color of your face because even though you get rid of it on your background you don't want to get rid of it on your face um so all of these factors matter as far as lighting white balance matters um your gamma adjust like i don't want to be too pink uh i want to look natural in my setting so i need to work on that um, the gamma adjust is another one. Okay, right there. So I might can take those and keep going in between here and I will find that perfect key. It may take me a minute. Okay. Okay. I'm not moving my lighting because I've already changed my lighting to where I know it works on my setup already that I have saved. Okay. 
Now you see this top here where my clips are holding up my fabric and right here where I don't have green. I'm not worried about that because all you have to do is in your PIP, I'm going to crop that top down here. It makes that even better. Okay. Now I don't crop the bottom because I put my name right here. This, that right here does not bother me. I'm good. Um, but I still got to get that fuzziness out of here and I've, I've got to play with it. Okay. Um, it could be my greens that I have. So I'm going to see if I can get any more greens, different color green. I'm going to move this bar some. Now, this lightness is here, so it's too bright. I need to bring down that brightness. Look at there. Are we working it? We're working it, people. Um, where's that gamma? I think I can get that right almost out. Okay, but let's just say, okay, I see that little fuzzy right there. I don't want that fuzzy there. Now in my setup, I've got that taken care of. On this fly right now, I don't. I'm going to see if I can up my threshold just a little bit and get rid of that without. Mm. See, it's a fine line. So that's just a little. So here's a little trick that I'm going to do um, is I've just got a VIP kit logo. I can come and put this right over that and voila, it looks, I think it looks okay. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the image overlay, I told you I have my, um, like here's a Christmas one that I plan on doing. It's an animated GIF. So my lights actually twinkle and it looks like I'm in my living room. Um, and it literally is just, dragging and dropping a picture over there. Um, I had made this one. Um, and I'll put the student's name right here. Some things that you're going to have conflict with, and I'll just tell you this in advance, is like working with um, Google Slides. You're used to having it on you on the main webcam and not as a PIP, and having your Google Slides as a PIP, okay? Oh, you know what you could do is you, instead of you using a webcam as a main picture, let me try this while I'm thinking. Hang on, I'll come back. <laughs> instead of webcam, use your desktop or desktop plus as your main camera instead of a DV, uh, PIP. Just reverse it. And then you can switch the video source. <sighs> That'll take care of that problem. Um, let me see if I can try it on the fly while we're sitting here. So I'm just going to hit this up plus is fine. And now that puts that there. And I want it to, I've got some Google slides pulled up right here. Uh, this screen can find the application window, Google props, uh, select capture area, put them down right here. I don't know if I can do this or not, but I'm going to try. Um, get this going. Done selecting. And now when I'm in this, swap with that, and there's my Google Slides. Okay. Anyway, you're going to have to work with that, okay, and figure that out of how you could work Google Slides with that. Um in my current setup that I do, I have Google Slides as a PIP and I have it sitting up here and then I just drag it down as I need to. Or sometimes I have it sized exactly to this black. Oh, look at there. See, here's another thing. You see that green? Now in my setup that I have, I don't have that. But these are things you got to tweak for. You don't want to interfere with blocking light. And that's a light that I'm blocking right there. So I have learned to keep my hands in a place that tries not to block any light. So when I go this, that, these, good job. I've learned to work in this space and not be, woo, even that didn't look bad, but I don't want to block that light and have that green right there. And holding up a white prop, um, sometimes you have to tilt it. So it's better not to have white if you're going to use a prop, like a marker board or something. You can, but that light bounces right back off of that. So um, 
fortunately I don't use a lot of that because I use mostly everything digital and I haven't needed that. But I have like little flashcards that I use all the time. Uh, okay, what's this word? Oh, see my green and how that light bounces off of there? So, but I'll put it up here and I haven't figured this out yet of how I'm going to work that. But the kids end up can reading it, but I don't like that. So that's another thing that I have to work on fixing on how to do. Um, it can be done. And you may, everybody's space is different. So I can't give you a formula of what's going to work for you. I can just tell you that your background has to be evenly lit. There can't be any hot spots. Really not, is no wrinkles, as flat as possible and just evenly lit. Not just one light. Um, teacher Ellie said a light behind you um, to that makes any shadows go away. Because if you don't, if you have shadows and you have this green ghost like that right here, you see that finger right there? Goes around. Um, so anyway, I hope this helps. See ya. Bye.